my 48-hour ambulatory EEG. I made this video to help others with epilepsy understand what the ambulatory EEG is, the risks, why you have it, how to prepare for it, what you need to do during the test, and how to remove the electrodes. Taking this test can be very frustrating, but your doctor can also obtain a lot of valuable information from it as well. Many people ask me, what is an ambulatory EEG? An ambulatory EEG can record up to 72 hours of brain activity. It uses a special recorder that is slightly larger than an iPhone. This device lets you do normal daily routines while the EEG is being recorded. You will be recorded during the beginning of your ambulatory study while you are in the examination room. The ambulatory EEG has been used for many years and it's considered to be a safe and painless procedure. The electrodes do not produce any electric current. They only record activity. Why do people with epilepsy need to take this test? To know if you are having fainting spells or events that are different from seizures. To diagnose epilepsy and understand the types of seizures you are having. To count the number of abnormal discharges or seizures you may be having. To better understand times when you are unconscious or having memory loss. To track how well your medications are working. To study events that may happen at random. How did I prepare for the ambulatory EEG? I shampooed my hair the night before the appointment. I didn't use any hair products. I brought a hat with me to cover my head so it was less noticeable when I left the ambulatory clinic. I wore clothes that didn't pull over my head. You want to wear clothes that will not tear off or move the electrode wires. How is the test done? Setting up the ambulatory test takes about an hour. The EEG technologist puts 16 to 25 electrodes on specific areas of the scalp using special cement to hold them in place. An ambulatory EEG study lasts 24, 48, or 72 hours. Do not take a shower because it will damage the equipment. You will be asked to keep a diary of all your daily activities. It also has a button to press if you are feeling spacey, confused, or if you feel like you are having a seizure. Avoid using electrical equipment when it is plugged into the power charger. You may use laptops, phones, and video games when it is unplugged. Do not remove the electrodes, cables, or wires from the box. Get the box wet. No showers. Do not chew gum. Do not scratch your scalp. Avoid vigorous activities or those that make you sweat. How do you remove the electrodes? Start by removing the bandage. Cut the electrodes anywhere along the wrapped cable between the head and the machine. These are disposable and can be thrown away. Take a warm shower and wash your hair with shampoo and conditioner. Let the conditioner soak in your hair for several minutes to soften the cement so you can remove the electrodes. Now return the equipment and you're done. Schedule an appointment with your doctor to go over the results. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box. Hit the like button below the video and share it with your friends. To see more videos like this, then click subscribe.